Alright, what's going on my people? It's your boy Z Gaming. I'm back for another video on The Walking Dead Road to Survival. And guys, I know it's been a little while since I got a video out. I was having some difficulties with my recording app and I finally got it working again. I apologize for that and I, I thank all you guys for sticking around and understanding. I did put a video out, but I took it down pretty quick because I went back and watched it and it was it was bad. Because I had tried to use another app to record and it, it was just completely terrible. But I thank you guys for sticking with me and understanding. And um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm back to the normal thing now and um yeah, we're just gonna keep putting videos out there guys. So um first thing I'm gonna break down right quick is um they brought a premier recruit back. It was Sawyer, but I missed that, like I said, due to the app messing up. I apologize. It does that sometimes, so just bear with me guys when it does and thank you for understanding. Oh, you guys are awesome out there, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got Five Star Red Andrea. So this character, not too bad, actually. I She's one of the better um, Five Star Reds. And the reason for that is because she can give you quite a bit as a leader skill, and she's a very good card if you pull. If you, if you, do, if you do want to pull for her, I would recommend it if you got the coins because she can definitely change your team. Um... She has 806 attack, 775 defense, and 1,134 HP. Um, now her AR is a 45, so really it can be a one-turn, two-turn AR. She deals 400% damage and stun for two turns to one enemy. But her leader skills what's absolutely amazing. All teammates, not just ranged characters, all teammates get plus 45% attack against melee characters. So basically, all of your teammates are going to be able to just rip through most of the um melee characters and i think that's absolutely incredible because that's a massively good leader skill now when you do a 35 pull you get some of these so you get 400 supreme tokens which i'm going to go over that here in a second as well and um you get 754 star recruit tokens 500 four star weapon tokens and 750 elite item tokens not too bad of an um a you know, premier thing overall and um, they're selling these as well, guys, but they're going to cost you a little bit, and you might not even get a pool. Um, you have a chance at up to 1500 which is a pool, minimum 250 and you got some raid cans in there as well, up to 5 minimum 2 I don't know if they're dropping yet from the raid. Um, earlier, um, when the event first dropped, they weren't dropping. I used a couple cans to see. But, um, yeah, they're definitely not. They weren't dropping earlier, but they may be dropping now. I don't know for sure. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it out right quick for you guys, and um, I'm gonna test it out at the end of the video actually. If I, if the video ain't too long, because I, I gotta go over the event still. So um, now with the, it's a, it's a faction raid tourney actually, and it's pretty cool. Um, the top, the, unless you get in the top five, you don't get any supreme tokens. So my advice, my advice to you is if you're gonna go. Um, if you're in a good faction in this tourney or a faction, you need to try to go for the top five because there's a four star human shield out and that could be very beneficial if you do manage to pull the character because the, the shields are game changers in this game and they can really change the way your um, defense works overall. Um, you get pretty typical rewards, you know, 75 through 26, 750 four star recruit tokens, ultra rare and rare gear box and a persona trainer box. 25 through 11 gets 1,754 star recruit tokens. They get a ultra rare and rare gear box, and same thing, one percent of trainer box. 10 through 6 gets 4,004 star recruit tokens. Two boxes with ultra rare and rare gear, and two boxes with a persona trainer in it. So not bad. Now the top five through three, they get sherry. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend this character for much. You can use her to do territory or not territories, but um, you can use her, I guess. Is a um a defense and a tower if you ain't really got a strong team or if you just need a couple characters so you can keep your heavy hitters and stuff, or you could use her really for scavenger missions. I wouldn't recommend her for much else. She's she's not that great. You get a um fifteen hundred supreme tokens for the top five through three, and you get two boxes of ultra rare and rare gear. Now second place actually not too bad. Heather she's not bad. And the reason for that is because all alert teammates get plus 20% HP and plus 20% defense. You could use her on offense or defense, really, and her impair 
um, in pairs two, up to two enemies for two turns and up to two teammates regain 40% of their max HP. Not a bad card. Lower, she has a little bit lower defense and HP, um, but yeah, not too bad overall. Um, I'm sorry guys if I'm going a little bit quicker. I'm trying to break down a bunch of stuff in this video for you guys and kind of try to keep the video a little bit shorter because I want to do a couple raids for you guys as well. And um, I still got to break down what's in the um, the pulls for the Supreme Tokens. And the second place gets 3,000 Supreme Tokens and three Ultra Rare and Rare Gear Boxes. First place, she gets a lot of hate. Now, I'm going to break down this character because I think it's it's um, it's um kind of due. Necessary. Um, She has 731 attacks, 713 defense, and 1,057 HP. Now, in my opinion, she's actually not as bad of a four-star as what people think. And the reason for that... Is because, I mean, yes, her AR is a 58, so it's a little bit slower. Two-turn, three-turn AR. But she deals 250% damage and 100 damage bleeding for two turns to up to four enemies. So when she hits, she hits up to four enemies with 250% damage. Mine, it, don't even worry about the bleeding damage. I'm just telling you, she deals 250% damage basically up to four enemies. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. If I'm mistaken, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure. And that's that's pretty good. That's pretty similar to Zachary, except that Zachary's a neutralized, and he's a little bit better overall. But um, she has tenacity, too, which basically she gets hit with um anything that would kill her. It would reduce her to 1 HP instead, so not too bad. Um, And you get 4,500 Supreme Tokens for first, and you get four Ultra Rare and Rare Gear Boxes, so not too bad. It's fifth. I, I believe it's fifteen hundred um, supreme tokens per pool. Yeah, it is. Now the reward. This is the shield. The rewards are actually they're actually they're okay, but this is the one thing that everybody wants. Estella. She's the new four star human shield. Six hundred and seventy one attacks, seven hundred and eighty six defense, one thousand ninety four HP. Now you don't really need her for. I mean, you could use her for offense as a shield as well, but you're not really ever going to use her for much else. I mean, her AR is pretty solid, but you don't want her AR to go off. You want it. You want her to keep shielding. Her adrenaline rush is a 66, so it's kind of slower, which is good. You want it. You don't want it to be a really quick AR to pop off because she needs to defend for you. So, you know, give her a Desert Eagle with HP and defense buff, etc., like that, and you'll be pretty solid. Um, I definitely already got a weapon for her um, with my Desert Eagle that's gonna help out if I do manage to pull her. I hope I do because I really do need her. Um, she deals 325% damage to one enemy and all enemies adjacent. So that's going to hit pretty hard against greens. Really? That's not too bad at all. Leader skill? No leader skill because her specialist skill, she's a human shield. That's, this character is definitely, I hope a couple people out there get her. And if you do get her guys, let me know in the comments. And then it's weapons, you know, Magda's 9mm Dale. He's all right. Carson, he's he's not bad for a four star. Um, yeah, he deals um adjacent damage. Now with this weapon, I'm gonna go over this one. The only thing I would recommend you change on this is um a very large bonus to AP when taking damage instead, and I would go for maybe 35% HP or something like that because this weapon's more for offense than it would be for defense, in my opinion. Then you got Zachary, one of the better four stars. Oliver, Oliver's all right. Um, what really is good about him is the fact he has that minus 60% defense. He can basically take a defense, um, off of a character so you can take him out, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Um, Carl's superior red dot. I would recommend that for the critical zombies. This, you could go same thing. Go for, um, very large bonus when attacking and 30% attack and you can add 35% attack. This, I would definitely go full defense, put this on your Revive Jesus if you got him, or you can put him on, put this on Andrea's, anything like that. Um, Aaron, eh, it's not too bad. Bo, he's alright, I don't use him as much anymore, but he's a pretty heavy hitter. Now, this is one of the weapons I was talking about, you can one-turn ARs. Now, the way you would one-turn an AR is, you would put the um, character you want to go off in the fifth slot. You would give this weapon to another character and have a command in the fourth slot. Because from what I've heard, it's usually the fifth character, the last character in your um, team that gets the AP buff from the weapon. And what you do, put the command behind them and put a very large bonus or a huge bonus when attacking like 5-star green Negan, for example. 
and you put five star yellow Jesus in that fifth slot, and then when Jesus hits, you can command him right off the bat and get his AR. That is how you one turn ARs. So not bad. There's other weapons you can do the bonus AP with, um, and all that. But hunter's rifle, same thing, a defense weapon. Now this weapon's even better if you manage to get this one because it's got plus twenty percent AP which I think would definitely be enough if you put that and you put on um, defense and HP. This could be a support weapon. Not too bad overall. Chad, I still use Chad because he's a command and he heals. Not too bad of a character. This weapon is okay. Um, Blends pistol, same thing. He, he um the, the third thing is the um specialist is not too bad, actually. You can go for um, HP and defense. You don't really need critical, and um, I mean, he gives bonus twenty percent defense to another teammate for um three for the first three turns. So not bad. Molly, she's still pretty good of a four star. I still use her from time to time. Rod, he's good for his um adjacent attack. Morgan shovel. This is another weapon you can use to um get ARs quicker. Carol, I wouldn't recommend Carol for anything else unless you just want her just because or need her for a defense or something. Dusty, he, she's all right. And then Allen, Allen's not bad because of his leader skill. I like his leader skill. But, um, yeah, just broke down the event right quick for you guys. Not too bad of an event, actually. Now, as far as I, like I said before, um, the Supreme Tokens weren't dropping. So I'm going to see if they're dropping now from a raid. I'm going to find somebody to raid right quick. All right, I'm going to go after this guy. Oh, wow, his team's actually kind of not as good as I was expecting. I was trying to find a better guy to raid, guys. I apologize. But um, this is how I use my Andrea team. Not too bad overall. Now, this guy has that mark, so I definitely need to take Mark out because he'll take my defense down and kill me, and I don't want that. So pretty quick overall. Not too bad. Um, And the Supreme Tokens maybe are not dropping. I'm not going to raid this guy with yellows. No way I would do that because he's got that Negan. <laughs> He's got Morgan. Mm, I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to try to find somebody that actually has a... um. Let me see here. Okay, let me use my yellows again. I'm going to use my, um, my Barker. Okay, he's full yellow. So see how that just popped up, guys? That's how you know when your neutralize is ready. When it turns, when it turns a color, because it's grayed out until it's, until it's um, yellow. Once it turns yellow, that means it's ready to go off. All right, he neutralized my Abraham. I need to take out um, this Kenny and take out um, Eric. Get rid of – I. oh, okay. I thought he, his AR already went off, but it didn't. All right. So not too bad. Just um, just testing a couple rays to see, but I don't think they're dropping, which kind of sucks because I was looking to be able to farm them. Is there any roadmaps? Bruce's story. Mm, I don't see any. This seems like just another um, roadmap they're doing, maybe to give you a couple tokens and stuff. But um, I don't believe I have any pulls right quick. Um, let me see. I got a weapon token. I'll pull that right quick for you guys. A uh, three-star weapon. And then some basic tokens. So I don't really got too much else, guys. I just wanted to do a um, quick video, let you guys know I'm still here. And again, I apologize for the... Um, the few days I wasn't able to upload, like I said, the app went down. It happens from time to time, and you know, just stick, just um, bear with me and understand. And I thank all you guys for sticking around. Really means a lot to know that you guys, um, you guys stay here, even though sometimes we get thrown a curveball. Like I said, this community is awesome. It's growing really good. We're growing really fast too, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get to that 200 mark and see what's next to come, guys. But like I said, um, if you want a possible shout-out, you know what to do. Drop it in the comments, or you can message me online. My line ID is in the description of every video. And, um, yeah, you can also um, drop it in the comments, like I said. And um, thank you guys for all the support and everything you do. All you guys are awesome. You know, give yourselves a pat on the back, and let's just keep it rolling, guys. And with all that being said, this is, um, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And this is your boy Z Gaming. Peace.